My name is Jennifer Farr Davis. I'm here in Chattanooga with Rock Creek this weekend. We got to come out to Lulu Lake and go on a hike with probably about 50 people and a lot of people were trying out the Solomon Synap shoes. And it was just a great community event and a great afternoon to be outside. I've done a lot of hiking, I've done a lot of backpacking, and so I was so grateful when Solomon came up with the idea that, hey, if you're gonna hike 20 miles, 50 miles, or 2,000 miles, you shouldn't be wearing a runner's shoe. And so they came out with this lightweight Synapse shoe. It's built for people who wanna hike, who wanna hike long distances, but yet it's lightweight, very breathable, and best of all, it's not forcing you on the front of your foot like you're a runner. It's built for the rocking motion, which hikers do. They land on the back of their foot. And I was really fortunate to be a part of that process. They flew me to France to work directly with their shoe development team. So I put hundreds of miles on them and I gave them feedback. And I can't imagine a better shoe. The people I worked with their whole lives were shoes. They were shoe geeks and they loved it. And that's all they wanted to talk about. And that was great that it was their passion because hiking's my passion. And I know when I started backpacking and hiking and trail running, there was this real stigma that maybe women didn't belong on the trail or couldn't perform the same way that men could or maybe even weren't safe on the trail. And I think one thing that was so cool about coming to Rock Creek and giving a talk is that so many people in the audience were women and seeing them nod their head and understand that the woods belongs to them too. Being a woman, there's so many ways you connect to the woods as far as the grace and the simplicity. It's a place where you can really feel rejuvenated and feel like it's okay to just be you and to be beautiful. And I think Rock Creek and Salmon are doing a great job of getting them out there.